Today, I will be showing you how to make your Windows 10 or 11 laptop faster and optimize it for gaming and performance. I will be making your laptop, browser and Discord app faster while also telling you tips when it suddenly starts lagging or your game has an FPS drop. I will be covering more than 10 methods but if you want to know more, join my Discord server. Now, let's get right into it. Before we start off, the very first thing we should do is create a restore point so that in case any of our files get deleted or anything wrong happens we can always go back so search restore and click open select c drive and click create here just type in a name and click create it's gonna take some time once it's done we'll continue to the actual process now that our system restore has been created we can close it and click ok now i have a whole lot of methods for you guys so we'll start off with the very basics so first we'll clean up our system we'll delete temporary files so hit windows plus r on your keyboard to open run menu and type in percent temp percent and hit ok and you'll find a lot of these temporary files so select them and hit ctrl a and just hit delete and that's just going to delete all the files it might take some time so just hit skip and it's going to skip all the ones you can delete while that's happening let's continue to the next step the next step is disk cleanup so disk cleanup basically cleans up your disk which is for me the c drive do this for all current items and hit skip boom that's done now for disk cleanup open your start menu and type disk and it will find disk cleanup hit open and in disk cleanup you'll find a lot of options select all the options other than the delivery optimization files because these files are required for an update in your windows operating system so other than that you can delete everything click ok then delete files this is going to take some time considering the amount of files it has to delete next will enable storage sense so hit windows plus i on your keyboard which will open the settings app in settings search for storage and go to turn on storage sense for you if it's disabled just turn it on so you can set when it should clean it so i've done to run every month and delete temporary files so i did that for 30 days so every month it's going to delete the files you can also do it for the downloads folder but i've disabled that because i have important files in my downloads folder if you want you can also clear it now so just hit clean now but i've already cleaned it so that's fine next are for better performance first of all we have to change our power plan settings now this is a very important menu because for some laptops they work on power saving so that your battery doesn't die so what you want is go to power options you might find a high performance menu click on that but i have ultimate performance there's no big difference just click on change plan settings click change advanced power settings and you'll find this window pop up right over here in hard disk you open it and do turn off hard disk after set both of them to never and once we're done with that we can go into sleep sleep after never that's the basic thing you want to do then if you scroll down you'll find pci express link state power management in that set on battery to moderate and plugged into off so that there's going to be no power saving when it's on charging then you can change your processor power management in the maximum processor state just set it to 100 percent and 100 percent once you're done with that close that. then is advanced system settings so go in your windows start menu and search for advanced it will find view advanced system settings click open go into the advanced tab performance and click settings over here select adjust for best performance but then you should enable some options like smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons once you're done with that hit apply then in advanced make sure adjust best performance of programs once you're done with that click ok click ok once again then just enable game mode search for game in your start menu and click open once you open that just enable game mode it's very simple just a toggle once you're done with that we can work on your startup menu so go into your start menu and type in ms config it will open the system configuration go into the boot tab and in timeout it should be by default 30. now you should reduce that according to the specs of your laptop so i say experiment with different values like start off with 27 25 and then decrease it if it doesn't crash if it crashes you can always go back to the restore point we created i have set it to 11 i would not recommend going below 7 or 5. once you're done with that go into advanced options and select number of processors and choose the maximum amount you have click ok click apply click ok 
करते इट्स गोइंग टू एस्क यू टू रिस्टार्ट सो इस क्लोज दिस विल रिस्टार्ट आफ्टर वर्ड डन विथ ऑल ऑफ दी प्रोसेस देन वी हैव मैक्स बैकग्राउंड टास्क टर्मिनेशन सो फर्स्ट विल डिसेबल वट्स करंटली रनिंग सो विल ओपन टास्क मैनेजर हिट कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एस्केप ऑन योर की बोर्ड टू ओपन टास्क मैनेजर एंड यूल सी दिस बैकग्राउंड प्रोसेस इज मैन यू इट हैज अ लॉट ऑफ बैकग्राउंड प्रोसेस इज रनिंग सो इफ यू स्क्रोल डाउन यू सी ऑल ऑफ दैम एंड यू कैन क्लियर द वन विच यू डोंट वॉन्ट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई डोंट वॉन्ट शेयर एक्स टू रन इन द बैकग्राउंड जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इट एंड हिट एंड टास्क सो दैट्स गोइंग टू प्रिवेंट इट फ्रॉम यूजिंग योर मेमरी एंड सी पी यू वॉन्स यूर डन विद दैट यू कैन क्लोज इट नाउ वन मोर प्रॉब्लम इज द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट स्टोर एप्स सो एप्स लाइक योर फोन एंड अदर थिंग्स यू डाउनलोडेड यू कैन डिसेबल दैम सो द इजिएस्ट वेज टू गो इन टू सेटिंग्स विद विंडोज प्लस आई गो इन टू एप्स एप्स इन फीचर्स एंड स्क्रोल डाउन एंड टिल यू फाइंड अ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट स्टोर एप सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई डोंट यूज द योर फोन एप विच इज प्री इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन लैपटॉप सो जिस क्लिक एडवांस ऑप्शन and disable background apps this will prevent it from running in background because it takes up a lot of resources now once we're done with background termination we can continue to the more advanced tweaks so first would be disable search indexing for drive basically what this does is when you're in your start menu and you search for something it basically already has a list of things it should display to you when you search for that so we can disable that just hit windows plus e on your keyboard which will open the file explorer go into this pc local disk c right click and click properties and you'll see this option allow files on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to file properties now if it's enabled just disable it hit apply now this will take a long time according to the amount of data you have what we can do next is defragment our drive so just go open your start menu and search for disk defrag you're going to find defragment and optimize drives hit open select your c drive and hit optimize boom it's already done so just hit close next is a cmd command sfc slash can now when start menu and search for cmd command prompt and click run as administrator click yes and over here just paste this command it's sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter it's going to take some time because it's going to be scanning your system now for those of you who play games on your browser and they lag a lot i have a fix for that too number 1 is change your dns server so this is an internet related thing if you want to know more about dns servers join my discord server link in the description i'll tell you more about it there so just go into your internet settings right click open network and internet settings and click on change adapter options now from this just choose the internet which you use right click hit properties in the new window which opens up you can scroll down until you find internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 hit properties and in this select use the following dns server do 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 for your alternate dns server this is the cloudflare dns server you can also go for google's dns server which is 8.8.8.8 that's your choice you can try experimenting with which one is best this should speed up how fast sites load click okay and click close and close this window now you can disable proxy server now again if you want to know more about this you join my discord server i'll tell you there so for proxy server open your browser go into the three dots and click settings it's going to open the settings page for your browser go ahead and search for proxy and it should load all the proxy settings it's going to see open your computer's proxy settings so click the open logo and once it opens it's going to open up in settings disable all of these options right here every single option you disable all of them this should speed up and increase your fps a lot it worked for me next what we can do is we can do it for discord now most of you use discord and it's probably really laggy if you're in an active server we open discord go into your user settings and scroll down into accessibility scroll down and do enable reduced motion this will disable all of the other options then this and all you can leave how it is then if we scroll down into voice and video scroll down and just disable all of this echo cancellation and noise reduction and once you're done with that scroll down once again and in advanced enable hardware acceleration this will make discord user gpu so after that go into activity status and disable this same thing in game overlay you can disable that now once we're done with that and your discord is fast and we'll go for the next methods now updating device drivers there are many methods you can do it however you want but i would suggest you do it using driver easy it's for free so you can do that and then there's intel xtu which is intel extreme tuning utility this is not available for all 
processors only for intel processors and that too they're the ones mentioned over here so if your processor is supported just go ahead and download this tuning utility and set it up and it's automatically just going to tell you what you have to do now some final tips i have for you these are for when you're playing a game or if your laptop suddenly starts lagging like if you have an fps drop for that the first thing you can do is restart your graphics card it's way easier than you think you just have to do Control plus windows shift and b and you're going to hear a beep noise your screen may flicker sometimes that's just to indicate that something's actually happening next you can restart your explorer process so again open task manager in task manager, if you scroll to the very bottom, you will find the Windows Explorer process right over here. So click on it and hit restart. Again, in this, your screen will also flicker, but that's fine. And the last method is restart your laptop. So I would suggest restarting your laptop so that all the changes we just made will all take place very well. I hope these tips helped you make your laptop faster. For more support, join my Discord server, link in the description. And don't forget to watch these videos so you can show off to your friends. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.